space. Welcome back everyone, this week we're at the Ganaraska. And I am now Kiwi Brian, riding my KDM. Yeah, let me ride this thing. Oh, go do a hill climb. Oh yeah. How do, how do Kiwi speak? They say, they say dick instead of deck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right on. That, that's exactly, that's exactly what he sounds like. <laughs> Oh, but he did make the hill climb. So today we're at the Gaddy and we're practicing hill climbs because no, I'm terrible at them and this place actually has some. So um, the first few weren't so good. The first one, the first clip that I showed was like, I was super happy, but that was definitely not my first attempt up the hill. Um, yeah, look at him, he made it up the hill. Good job, not too much spin either. Really good. I, yeah, I was watching it. I didn't see his tire spin. I was, I thought he was gonna stall coming up, <laughs> so. But he, he's, he made it all the way up. So we tried this one, which is a little bit harder. Uh, this is my first attempt at it. I've never made it past this before. So this now is the furthest that I've never made it. So I'm already happy. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. And then I realized, oh no, this, this way to the right was a terrible idea. It is extremely dug out and then, yeah, no. So I, I wheel it back down a little bit. And I'm like, ah, oh, there's definitely another line there. It's uh, just trying to wheel it downhill. Yeah, get around that tree. Took, took me forever. <laughs> here we am, here I am, training the hard enduro, right? <laughs> sure. But I, I, was, I was really happy with today's practice, so thanks. Big shout out to Brian, Kiwi Brian, for taking me out and uh, showing me around. It helps because he knows the place and he's, he like rides here quite frequently, so yeah, that helps. Um, and uh, yeah, like that, that, or he's been here a lot and he's slow, so he knows the way around, that's right there. And yeah, so, um, yep, another attempt, another time, another practice attempt, a little bit better. Um, I haven't stopped moving yet, but I am dabbing now. I also set it to a uh, rainbow to try and get less wheel spin um, going up the hill, because why use full power when I can't even use not full power properly? <laughs> I don't think I need more power. I think I need to spin the wheel less and balance better. Ah, Damn I stalled it. it. <laughs> right towards the top. I didn't try this one too much, this this specific one. I went to go practice the ones that were a little bit more gentle and a bit a bit easier that don't have a turn in it. Um, also practice downhills a little bit. There we go. I don't ever really feel too scared coming downhill. Um, I'm more worried about looping the bike up, going uphill. So yeah, we're trying an easier one. This is the one that Brian went up. And I'm in first gear. So that, this is this is just a not a good attempt. I mean, the bike trucks because the bike is is like a little tractor. It, it, no problem. So let's try again, but in second gear, <laughs> a bit better. Still lost speed at this point. Um, I wasn't particularly happy with it, so I went round again. This time I even had I didn't I, I even came up. From from an angle, didn't even line up straight. And yeah, this is so much better. I, I'm still on the pegs, I haven't even dabbed yet. I think I dabbed like near the top once. I, I did it a few more times, I didn't record it. You also don't need to see every single one. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really happy with the practice. And, and there, there goes me. It's not often you get to see what I look like. I'm not, I'm not riding quick right now, I'm just goofing around, but I do speed off in a minute. Um, that's yeah, interesting. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've seen myself for quite a while. You don't tend to see yourself in videos, and unless you're like, yeah, you know, I, I just don't tend to see myself in videos. Yeah, now, now I've gone. Brian's tried his best to keep up. Brian is definitely a uh, note to note, to Brian. I'm gonna inflate his ego a little bit. He has significantly improved over his. Uh, over last year, and and he doesn't use the clutch too much anymore. There was a there was a time where we literally everybody was telling him to use the clutch less because he came from a four stroke and now he's on the two stroke. So it's like Brian, use less clutch. <laughs> and so yeah, so the same same bit from my view. 
slightly different viewpoint. It's a little bit tight through here, so I'm not going too fast. And we just start stopping trout as well. I feel like the different it looks less bumpy, and I think it's because I'm stood up. Which means I could just ride over like these roots and logs and I say logs, roots and whoops. Roots and whoops a little bit better. And I could also just like make it turn a little bit sharper. Yeah. Um, I did my bike maintenance this week as well. I um, swapped out the uh, plastic with the, um, the, the the front brake line because it had worn all the way through to the steel um, steel thing underneath. And um, naturally, whilst I was working on it, because uh, I was I was. I'd done it and I was like pushing the, the uh, yay, bit of a long jump. I was pushing the oil back in, but then I had to bleed it afterwards. Make sure it wasn't a fluke. And then when I was bleeding it, um, I was down, sat on the ground, just like, you know, crank it. Well, not sat, but like squatted on the ground. And I was cranking it and then on the on the handle, and then you, you um, do the little span a bit to let the bubbles come out and stuff like that. And I bloody pull the whole bike off off the stand and it dropped on my arm and it, oh so I got like big gashes all up my arm I got brake fluid all over me it was going everywhere oh it was absolute it was it was an easy job that I just fucked up <laughs> so doing this hill climb two times yeah, it's quite sandy I'm not used to doing a sandy hill climb um, and I was also looking way too close to the ground but this time I managed to do it a little bit better. The start wasn't so great, but I got a good bit of traction there, which was able to like give me a bit of good speed, um, which helped me help me finish it off. And then, and then the, the like the fourth time I tried it was uh, the worst. As I was wheeling myself into some thorns, poison ivy. Try to go around, try that again. <laughs> um, yeah, for the fifth time. much happier with this. I don't even think I dabbed right until the end, like right as I was coming through that last little bit. So I was super happy with that. And yeah, so I, like we did quite a lot of K. I think we did like 62K. Um, we were chilling. Like it was a good day. We did a lot of hill climbs, a lot of single trail. Yeah. Felt felt really good. So a uh, big, big thank you to Brian for taking me around. Um, yeah, didn't get to go up to the submarine race. It's just a little too far for me to go this weekend. Um, I actually had a bit of time off work before the weekend, <laughs> but the weekend itself was actually a little bit busy. I wanted to spend my time with my wife, so I know it's me. Woe is me. But um, no, I didn't. I, I another time, maybe another year in future, I'll, I'll make it up to the submarine one, but not this time. And I probably won't. Well, I won't be at the Walton because I'll be in England. Um, and then I'll be back, hopefully, for Close Kingdom. And I don't know if I'm going to do one or two days on that. Because I'm going to be jet lagged as fuck. So I don't know if I want to be like sleep deprived and trying to do two days of the racing. Although I really should try and do both days with the cord coming up. I've never ridden two days in a row. So it might be quite good to get some practice in. But I haven't, haven't decided yet. And my moose have finally been shipped, so that would be good. I'll get those installed hopefully next week. It was a little bit weird. I caught up Nardi Parts, so I was like, hey, where's my moose? Otherwise, I'm going to cancel. And it's because it's been like three weeks now. And they were like, oh, whoops, we uh, didn't have the front in, so we put your rear on, like, out ready to ship. And then when the front came in, uh, we set that as a separate order ready to ship, and the front and rear never met, so we never shipped them. Our bad, sorry. I was like, oh, for God's sake. So I could have had them for this day out, but it turns out they just didn't bother checking the front and rear, and I was just, yeah, a pain in the ass. Oh well. Anyways, this was a great day out. Uh, big shout out to Brian. Thank you very much. If you ever need a tour around Ghani, you should hit him up. Uh, I think I'll do for this week. Okay, see ya.